hello friends in this video we are going to be looking at how we can recover watch that image in adobe photoshop precisely camera raw this is twisted creative alarbi my name is my name if it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video without wasting much time let's get into it now, this is the image we are going to be using we just have to head up to camera roll this is the image let's take a look at the image this is a model it's a beautiful model but taking a look at this image is just washed out so we have to fix this image with camera roll is it that we'll go to filter then camera roll filter you can also use shortcut ctrl shift a to open it in camera roll so this is the image in camera roll Let's go to the basic, open the basic, and we can reduce exposure. That's nice. Reduce exposure. Then we're going to increase the contrast to, let's say, like 23 or thereabouts. For now, we can leave it here. We can also, we can always come back to make this adjustment. So the next thing we are going to be looking at is the highlight. If you take a look at the highlight, let's zoom in and see. If you take a look at the highlight, it's not looking that bad. Let's see. After reducing the exposure, it's not no longer looking that bad. So we can bring the highlight down a bit, a bit, not too much. Then the whites, let's take a look at the whites. If you take a look at these areas, you notice that we have some whitey stuff. We're going to be taking care of that later. Let's bring the white down a bit, like so. Then if you take a look now, the image is coming up very fast. So let's go to color mixer here then this orange color let's reduce the intensity of the orange color like by using let's use the and with this luminance is going to make it look to let's take a look at the face and see how it's going to work you see what luminance does to the color so let's reduce it a bit just tiny bit to make it a little bit dark you know we are trying to bring back this image so got to leave it at let's say minus five should be okay for this orange color then the yellows we can let's reduce the intensity with luminosity luminance let's reduce the luminance then we can the temperature let's pull the temperature of the yellow a bit then we can let go the yellow now like this then we can go to the green channel that is this green color if you take a look at this image now it's just like there is no green on it is there any need adjusting this green but if you have green on your image it's good you adjust it to your taste so let's go and okay let's just assume that there is green here let's just pull the saturation up a bit and i'm going to bring down the luminous the luminance down then we can go to the aqua this is how this is the area that is going to affect this our color it's going to affect it in a way let's increase the let's increase the saturation a bit like 20 should be enough then the luminance should be done a bit okay then the next one is the blue which is the main color let's select blue and we are going to take it take the saturation up a bit and then bring down the luminance a bit also like so let's not make it too much so if you take a look at the blue now it's looking gorgeous so let's see like so is okay let's just leave it this way it's okay this way then go to the purple or whatever let's pick it up a bit then bring the luminance down a bit then can go to the magenta then can pull it up a bit and take the luminance down a bit you can see what we are having here isn't that amazing already let's just click on this to see how it looks initially and how it is looking now this is our edit tab then this is edit tab so we can go to this other tab which is masking we are going to select the third one here which is masking and we are going to take some part of this stuff that is looking too overexposed then we have to use our color range as the color range is selected you can see that if we navigate we see we have color picker which is 
eyedropper which we can actually use to select any point in time so we have to select this spot which is currently the lightest part of the clothing let's say for instance then i think we don't need any other part because those areas that are selected now like let's change the color let's change the color field that is added to this stuff let's click on this circle then we can change the color to any color for you to know and let's change it to green we can change it to aqua then orange mm, i think the color seems to let's leave it on red and whichever area you see this red attached to like if you disable this now you notice we have the normal image then enable it you see we have this stuff then we'll go straight to the exposure and bring the exposure down immediately you start adjusting the colors goes away so we have to adjust it down a bit then your contrast i think we have to pull contrast up then highlights you can let's say let's take the highlights a bit up the shadows are okay then the whites i think we should bring it down a bit a bit like so we did the adjustment based on the highlight area so if you take a look at the highlight area i notice that it has changed drastically so let's see the entire image so this is the entire image this is what we have now we have to add sharpening to this test style as in the clothing we have to add sharpness to it without adding to the skin so we have to go by selecting the masking again then we're going to create new mask here if you click on add it's going to add new mask and it's going to be color range also we have to select the clothing by clicking on it then you can actually add other parts to it like make it okay like as you can see it's shifting to the skin and we don't want it to be on the skin so the clothing is selected now and in case you don't know how to add to the selection immediately you take the first point you are going to hold down your shift and click on other parts to add selection and it's going to give you just five options as in just five times to add so we have it selected then we can go to straight to the clarity and take it up a bit and we are going to then sharpness we are going to pull the sharpness up up so i i think we should be okay with this then i think we should be okay with this then just go out of here and take a look at the exposure again and see if there is something we can add to it i think the exposure is okay even the highlights are okay let's okay this and go to photoshop and see what we can add to this image then hit okay and it's loading and boom this is it if you are not here you will say that this is not the image it's a kind of properly exposed image okay if you if you take a look at it now you notice that the teeth is being affected with our adjustment so we have to go to history brush then we can reduce our opacity and reduce our flow then we have to clean up the teeth we have to clean those effects from the teeth So if there's any part of the image you don't really want this effect to be on you can actually go to that part and clean it off let's check inside the eyes let's check the white part of the eyes and we can see erase it from here Okay, if you take a look at the image now, what I'm seeing now is that the skin is too soft. It's looking like it's blurry. So for us to fix this, we have to add a high pass layer, which is we are going to use our control J to duplicate, add one layer to it. That we go to filter, then order, then high pass. 
then we can take 0 0.5 for the radius then hit ok then we'll go to blend mode click on the blend mode and choose linear light then if you take a look you will see that the image has been sharpened the image has been sharpened so have a look so this is the image then the next thing we are going to be doing is that we need to add some kind of burning to this image because you know that this image has been too bright and we have to reduce some stuff here so we have to go to the adjustment layer and click on curves then we'll take the shadow down to this extent then we we'll use we we'll make sure the make sure the layer mask is selected use our control i to invert the layer mask then pick our brush to make sure the foreground is white and the background is black and we go in here and let's reduce the opacity and flow to 10 or 11 let's say 9 should be okay 9 should be okay then we can start painting on those areas that will feel are uh, too bright that is supposed to be a little bit dark let's just try and do something here reduce here There are some deep areas that need to be a little bit dark like these areas they need to be a little bit dark to create dimension on the image i think this area is okay already then you can check the this area then reduce it then this area also then increase the brush and add this area also we can add this area this is actually creating dimension to make it deep so we have the, the whole, we already have the image overexposed so there are some there are some parts that we need to bring down as in down to make it to make it look more professional so in this we don't need to put highlights the highlights are already there so we don't need to add highlights which is the dodge the dodge part of it so we are only burning so we can see the stuff is okay then let's bring it down and see so if you take a look at this image you notice that a great job has been done here a great job has been done here let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before and this is after isn't that amazing okay just like flat image has been converted to 3d image take a look again this is before and this is after this is before and this is after that was a quick one isn't that so easy if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video, creative pool. Keep on creating. Please stay creative. Keep on creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.